Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hey there, Joshua Hanlon here, and today I'm with Rich checking out the Ultimate LEGO Castle Collection and all of these amazing LEGO Castle sets. We also just finished shooting a video on this little LEGO Castle display <laughs> over here as well, so make sure you look for a separate video on that whole display and his sorted collection. But we want to look at all of these sets here, and I believe you actually own pretty much every single LEGO Castle set ever, right? Correct, yeah. Yeah, and that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's a love. It's a love. I was lucky to grow up with it, so I was there at the beginning. So, so you've kind of just from your childhood to today, basically, been yeah, collecting. Yeah, and never got rid of any of my any of my sets. So my original, my first set was that Knight's Castle up there, and and that's it right there, the one I got for for Christmas. Which one is that here? So right down in here. Should be right one more over. Okay, yep, right there. Right so there. this this is this is where it all started that's, for you. That is where it all started. Yeah. <laughs> I remember sitting there playing playing with that in my basement in, in Queens, and uh, my brother had his town stuff, and then that just blossomed into you know into what it is today. What year was that set released? Uh, Eighty four. Okay, so mm -hmm. and then that that kind of followed up what the original Yellow Castle was like late seventies. Correct. Yeah, yeah, and I remember seeing the Yellow Castle stuff in the stores. It just didn't appeal to me at all. It was it just <laughs> it looked fake. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is still Lego blocks, but you know the. Um, as a kid, you just you know you have your own opinions of things, and, and still to this day, it's not my favorite stuff. The yellow, the yellow castle. You know, I recently got it, but um, yeah, the gray stuff really just you know appealed to me. And then in the cubicle to the left here, what what else do we have? So we have the guarded in. Um, I uh, they're they're both so originally mine. So the one I got when I was younger from Shop at Home because we couldn't get it here in the states. Um, so I got that from Shop at Home delivered to me, and then the other ones the uh, uh, the Legend set that came out. Um, I got the, the Black Falcons again as well, and then the Black Falcons Fortress. That's the original one. Um, I uh, parted out my second one <laughs> um, into sitting in my old gray bins. Um, yeah. And but, this set has taken on a lot more significance, especially in recent years. They've kind of had a resurgence of Black Falcons, so a lot of people who didn't grow up with this or aren't familiar with that, that's kind of where it all started. Yeah, yeah. Their, their renaissance came with the medieval blacksmith um, idea set that came out and, you know, surprised all of us. You know, they, they included the Black Falcons figures and... You know, now they've been in the three-in-one castle, which a little nod to that that castle, and um, again in the 90th anniversary set. We've got another older castle over here as well. Yeah, the King's Castle. Um, that was the only one I did not get originally, so I got it a couple of years later, probably 1990, um, the King's Castle, and at the time it was $50. Funny enough, I saved the email that I got with it. It was missing a couple pieces, got it for $50, shipped. Um, but yeah, that, that, was, that was the big castle back then originally. Um, so it was cool to get that. I remember as a kid thinking how big that was, and you put it some next to some of the newer castles, even the castle that came just a few years after that, it, it looks small. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we have up top here in some of these sections? So uh, Lowenstein Castle was a, uh, the original BrickLink um, designer program castle, and then um, I got the addition on the back as well to make the, the, the supplement portion on the back side. That, that set, I remember, was incredibly popular from that original run of yeah. like BrickLink ADP programs. That, that was awesome, and I just, I, happenstance, I remember because I hadn't, I was moving around the country a bunch, and I just happened to like hop on BrickLink one day looking at something, and that order was open, and I just happened to purchase it. I was by happenstance that I got it. I'm so glad I did. Um, and then there's some of my larger sets that kind of just don't fit on in some of the cubes here. Um, the Royal Knights Castle, one of my, my favorite castles. Um, I just remember that being a game changer uh, when they came out with that, much different than the previous castles. Had stairs and all kinds of ornaments and dragon heads and, and things. It was really interesting and I just loved the playability on that when I was a, when I was a kid. Um, and as we move along, some of the Kingdom sets, the Jousting set. Great detail, details. I love that line. That's probably my favorite line of all the, the castle lines, that Kingdom's line. Um, great details. The, to me, the best looking um, sigils and, and, and weaponry and, and outfits. It was really cool. Yeah, so you, so you feel like with, with all the decades, this, this one kind of captures that, the best look that for was you? It, yeah, I didn't like the castle that they made with it, so I parted that out, but I, I really like that line of, of, of soldiers and, um, and, and what they had during that time. That's why I've used them for most of my, my large builds. Um, and then we have the large Viking ship, um, and then some of the other... Um, and just some other things that wouldn't fit down below. Not some of my favorites, but this 90th anniversary is my favorite castle set uh, of all time. It's it was a phenomenal build. Uh, it's got great techniques and um, just a great love letter to uh, to us castle fans. This one here to the left of it, I remember having uh, when I was when I was a kid, uh, you know, mm -hmm. in the uh, late 90s, and it's uh, it's a great impressive model. Obviously, the big. Uh, kind of lion cloth piece yep. there that hung down in the back. You had some play features with draw bridges and things, and I always thought the 
kind of stained glass window piece was cool there. Yeah, I swore I was going to use that stained glass one of these days. It's just you got to put it behind something and, and kind of slide it in behind it. I'll use it one of these days because um, I've got a couple extra. <laughs> um, but yeah, you really did have some cool things. That big cloth piece is awesome. I've always thought about maybe using it as like a ship sail or something. I don't know. And then we've got another older castle here. What, what, when is this one from? That's the Black Monarch's Castle. That's from, oof, someone will shoot me, but it'll probably be 88-ish or so. Um, late 80s. Mm -hmm. um, I, that was awesome because it was the first Black Castle when it came out. Um, and that those that faction was great. We had a different, you know, it, was, it wasn't just Black Falcons and, and Lion Knights anymore. Um, so the Black Falcons were really cool. And then just below that's their their second castle that came out with them. And th oh, that, that's an all-timer right there. That's, that's one of the best. Um, Great details, a gate, the little, uh, again, little Tudor house on to the right. You know, the, the ode they did with the 90th anniversary to that set um, was specific to that. And then you can see these kind of boats that tie in with the motif there mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they had little little details, the little dragons <laughs> on, the, on their ships. Yep. And what I love that you've done with a lot of these is the army builder aspect as well. Not only do you have these sets, but in a lot of these areas, you've got massive armies as well yeah yeah and I, I don't think i ever intended to make like a huge like I, I you know i'm not the kind of person that has 500 you know figures on any army it's just you know they over the years i've just accumulated and you know you know ebay purchases and you get extra here and an extra there or you buy a bulk bulk you know collection of some kind and um just kind of end up with it when you get a few viking chess sets you know you have a lot of vikings and um i did go overboard probably with the cmfs for the uh the pink knight uh, the girl knight but um I'm glad I did because those shields never came out in um, in uh, bricks and pieces online with the 90th anniversary parts because um, it's a CMF related part. Oh, um, so you won't be able to get the, the the armor and you won't be able to get that that print at all. So that's and the, the, the one and done. This set behind it is the infamous uh, goat set, correct? That, that is the infamous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's four goats right there in the barn. You can probably see them back in there. Um, it also has the uh, the gray horse. Um, it also has three of the best minifigures that came in the cast line, in my opinion, for townspeople, um, which they never produced again. You know, they had the child, the, 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 the lady, and the, and the man, um, which were great prints, um, but they just never came out with them again. So you had a lot of, and you had the pig in that set. So <clears throat> a lot of rare pieces in that set came out one time and one and done. And speaking of great minifigs, I love the Vikings minifigs. We saw the kind of the long ship earlier, but mm -hmm. these big shields, and then just all the helmets and everything and how fearsome they looked. And you can mm -hmm. see some of the sets behind them there as well. Oh, fantastic. And I, that C, I wish I'd gotten more of that CMF. I think I've got two. That's it. <clears throat> and that helmet is great. The shield is fantastic. Uh, it was a great tour. So I, I wish I'd gotten more. I just didn't. Uh, but thankfully, the Sanctum Santorum came out. Um, and they have the, the Dark Pearl Gray version of that helmet. So um, anybody listening, hop on Bricks and Pieces <laughs> and go get yourself some. They're available there. There you go. And the Vikings theme was something that I, I really couldn't believe that they haven't revisited that and just had, didn't do more with that. I mean, it's a Danish company. Vikings just seem to make so much sense and the, the sets were so cool. Yeah, I guess they just wanted to steer clear of the Viking horde. But <laughs> thankfully, we've got a Viking idea set yeah. coming out for the Target exclusive th later this year, I think. Um, so that'll be a cool set. I just feel like, I don't know, I, like uh, riches of just pouring upon the castle and, and Viking fans. I mean, we, you know, there's so much that's come out. You know, after being starved for right. about a decade. <laughs> it only feels like so much because of how long we went with nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's, yeah, we've got, this is like one run usually of these number of sets we've gotten. Exactly. And then to the left here, uh, you can see these are like the Scorpion. The, yeah, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the, yeah, the Scorpion Knights, Vladix Forces, mm -hmm. um, Shadow Knights. Um, yeah, I've got them all kinds of weird and kind of funky looking um, army. Very sin sinister looking. Some, yeah, of, some of the I've, darker night. Yeah, I've, re I've, I've really tried to give each faction their own kind of character. Um, I, I remember buying a whole bunch of heads and hairs and preparing myself for the army building that would come. Um, so I didn't build any of the armies until I, I felt like I was set for all of them. And I just, it was like my own build a minifigure station in, on my, in my room here. And I just kind of went at it and built one army at a time. Just trying to stay, you know, pretty close on each in each army, their own unique look. And below that, I think we get into some Forestman sets yep. here. Yep, yeah, some, some old Forestman sets. Um, again, all originals that I had when I was a kid. Um, I, I never liked the blue roofs, and I just kind of always kept them black. Um, so they're not original except for that. But yeah, a couple of Forestman hideouts, uh, the Camouflage Outpost. Um, you know, the one in the back there is the, is the good one with the, the good figures. Um, Hemlock Stronghold, and then, um, you know, the River Fortress is down below. So all of those sets are there. Yeah, the, those those such a cool theme. Again, kind of a resurgence. We've got a little bit, but yeah, the Forestman idea is it's so cool. I always remember 
uh, thinking that that was, you know, it works so well with all the knights and everything. You always mm -hmm. got to have kind of the 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 hideout the hideaways. Yeah, yeah. Was, I, I remember as a kid that was probably my when I was a kid that was my favorite part of Castle, um, even more than the, the Black Falcons. I just love the you know the robbing the you know like train you know the horse carriage on mm -hmm. you know the middle of the woods. I you know you'd play those little games as a kid and uh, taking their gold. <laughs> and you've got the uh, the blue knights down here. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, those uh, those eagle knights that were in Knights Kingdom, two. Um, yeah, the jelly bean knights. So I've got. Those eagles down there, um, with, with that awful um, ship in the back, <laughs> the one in the further back. The second one is pretty good. The one with the, the wings, the dragon wings that were used, but the other one's just awful. The barge, um, but yes. Yeah, so, and then in some other areas here, I've got the rest of their purple and greens. And uh, I remember when they came out, I, I absolutely despised them. I was like, what are the, you know? I know, I, I know a lot of people. I, I was still fairly young at that yeah. time, so I was just like, oh, this is cool. But I know, you know, in the years since then, I've realized a faults weren't a big thing. <laughs> no, no, I didn't like the way the helmets moved, the colors. So I've tried. I've, I've included them all. Um, I've just tried to add some color, so, more subdued colors to them and kind of take them down a notch a little bit. Um, I like how you call them the jelly bean. <laughs> the, je the jelly bean. I, I haven't heard that before. That's good. <laughs> I remember on uh, classiccastle.com, I remember that being like that. Well, how we refer to the jelly bean knights. So the, um, yeah, I was never a big fan of them, but um, they're castle, so I got them. And then let's see, down here we've got another fortress here, kind of a different yeah. type. Yeah the, yeah, the dragon masters. So the, um, the I like the stepbrother to the, the uh, black monarch stuff. So same dragon logo, just was green and red instead of uh, you know the blue and uh, yellow and red. Um, yeah, so they had you know they had the little dragons with them, the, the famous green dragon. Um, there might be one in there somewhere, but um, I've got a bunch of them, and you know they eventually came out green black. Um, but those those were cool builds. They were um, they started with the burps and lerps and you know all that stuff mm -hmm. that that era. So the builds weren't great, but the design was fun. I really liked that top. Um, we had that big play area on, on the top of the uh, the fortress. Yeah, gave space for minifigures yeah, and lots of stuff yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. And then some smaller kind of carriages and stuff above yeah, that. Yeah, I had a little extra room, so I threw some of my carriages up there. I've I still got a lot and sitting in some totes, some other, you know, horses and whatnot. But, yeah, just some carriages that had come out over the years, um, put them in there with their faction. And to the right of that was the my favorite dragon faction that had come out. Again, that was in the Kingdoms line, so they did great with the lines and those great colors. And it was, it was different than, than what we had seen in the past. Yeah, this and is I quite, made, quite the army right here. I yeah, like I, try, I love that faction. So <laughs> if I see those at a decent price, I try to scoop them up. I, I have a little, yeah, a, a love for that faction in particular. And they're, they're, they're tough to come by at a you know, decent price. Are there certain knights and factions that are a lot harder to get a hold of here than others? What are, what are some of the, the toughest ones for you to kind of build an army of? Yeah, it'd probably be those for army building. Obviously, the, you know, the CMF Viking is, is a tough one. The, the Raven Knights are, are hard, the Tournament Knight. The CMF there on the uh, the yellow, yep, right there. Um, those are um, those are hard to come by. Those are really shot up in price, and I'm thankful I got a bunch of those when they were still pretty cheap and a lot of their shields, so I'm pretty well stocked. So, you know, I won't have big fortresses and castles for all these factions. Some of them are just you know on the port here, and maybe they'll bring their ships in, but I want them all to be represented in the uh, in the build, in the layout. Uh, even at the top, some of the uh, Lord of the Rings stuff that they'd come out with some of the best uh, armor and helmets and yeah. whatnot that the, that Lego had made. And thankfully, you know, we'll be getting some more of it, you know, with the new sets that are coming out. I love this. This plate here is fantastic. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just uh, look at, <laughs> we pull this off the <laughs> shelf. Yeah, I right mean, ahead. look at the level of detail here and just the shields and yeah. everything on, with the, from the horses, the minifig designs, even mm -hmm. on the helmets themselves and some of the accessories. Uh, yeah, I always love those. Yeah, and I love the color combinations. I always love that red and blue. So I've always tried to keep red and blue for, for them, for that Black Monarch faction. The dragons on the heads were always cool. You know, they had a few different colors. Um, yeah, it, it's, they're a pretty awesome faction. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, you know, you, you, everybody loves the cavalry. Yeah, and they have the, the barding, right? The, mm -hmm. the, the barding was great, and uh, thankfully we've got a couple of new ones now. And here is a, another kind of darker, a little bit of a darker faction as well with the, the Bat Lord yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, the Fright Knights. Yeah, yeah Fright they, Knights, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> and again, this is, this is uh, this, these were an awful build. Uh, this <laughs> era of Lego, I think for everybody, I think we can all agree, whoever you love, Space Town, Castle, everyone agreed during this era that they had some bad builds. It was, you know, their build fast era. Um, so there was a lot of burps and a lot of big pieces. And um, But these the characters were great. They had a lot of different ones within this own theme um, a lot of different torsos 
which they were real interesting. And, and this will be my next big build. I think I'll do for a show is a big like Dracula castle, and um, they'll be that'll be their home base. And above that, uh, I remember these kind of like uh, bowl nights here mm -hmm. because growing up we had there were like like comic books or like little like graphic novel yep. type books and everything. Mm -hmm. We would read those and we had the sets as kids and everything. So I have a lot of nostalgia when I see that stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, those are great. And those little gold ones that came out, or the, the chrome one, not gold, mm -hmm. but the chrome ones came out. I remember those being those little box sets. There was a few different pieces you can get. You can get the helmet in one, the shield in another, the sword in another. Yeah, those were awesome. They're just a little different faction. I made them kind of like, you know, outlaws or, you know, out in the, uh, the, the dry lands or something. So they were a little fun to make them a little different. And then you've got the, uh, the, is that the CMF? Yeah, the CMF Snow mm -hmm. Guardians. Yep, I got a few of those. I didn't want it to be too big, so I, that's enough. And yeah, they're just a fun little group, a little different. They'll live up at the top of the, uh, the snow-capped mountain up there. And then the, uh, the Bear Knights behind them, that was another CMF. Um, that was also available on the, uh, the Build a Minifigure stations for a little bit in some stores. Um, so I was able to accumulate some more of those. And you've got some smaller sets in the background here as well. Yep. Including like, uh, let's see, behind behind mm -hmm. these minifigs here, is that like a jousting set? Yep, yeah, that was the original tournament, Knights Tournament set back in 78. Uh, um, so you could see the brick built uh, horses. Um, yeah, so that was some original stuff there. You can see the the white bricks are a little yellowed. It's, yeah. it's hard to keep those in good it's condition. Hard. Yeah, I've, I've tried to throw them out into the sun, and but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to clean those up and get them just right. Mm-hmm. The minifigs here as well. Yep, yep. Yeah, and then they are, during that era, that original era, those shields, and then you can get those shields today now, thankfully, through the 90th anniversary set, and so you can uh, get newer, cleaner versions of those. And then uh, down below that, yeah, you have the battering ram, and I think there's the siege tower, the siege cart, um, and there's some factions there. Those are K-Town bricks, some of those, and some other um, off-brand. Third-party custom third part, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. third-party um, custom uh, figures, just to change things up. Some I really liked, and... Um, yeah, it's amazing what some of those companies make and just the accessories yeah. and prints and shields and all yeah. that. It, it's nice just to change it up and just throw a little variety into your uh, your kingdom. Now, the shelf here to the left we haven't talked about yet. Uh, so I think this, is this the blacksmith shop, yes. the original? Yep. The original, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, the probably the original idea set, right? Yeah, shout out to uh, Dan Siskin and yeah. his, uh, yeah, that's such a, such a crazy story that they, <laughs> Lego started getting involved <laughs> with the fans and then, Everything that Dan has done since yeah. then. <laughs> it's, it's funny how things work. That was awesome. I, I, I should have bought, I remember at the time, because I was like, oh, more town stuff, right? To, and he had those other Tudor buildings available, and I should have bought them then. I never did. Um, I remember watching a video after the fact about you know, what they're worth now. It's, <laughs> it's nuts. But, um, yeah, that was cool. I remember getting that at the time, and um, I'd gotten two of them. I sold one because um, I was trying to thin out a little bit, so I sold some of my stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was, that was such a cool build. That's such a cool set at the time. Still cool today. What's the set next to it there? Yeah, so that's the uh, King's Mountain Fortress. Um, so another ode on the new castle, kind of with the ramp that leads up to that. And that was a little bit after some of the Grey Castles, but before the, the newer wave of Knight's Kingdom came out. It, it's a nice little set that um, up on a raised base plate, uh, which some people have very, you know, a lot of love for. Um, and that was a fun set to build, too. Yeah, I feel like the raised base plates were a big part of castle themes for a long time. I mean, yeah. you look around at how many of these castles, you know, use yeah. those as part of their design. Yeah, I mean, it gets you up real fast, right? I mean, it helps just elevate it real fast and, mm -hmm. you know, set you over the, the rest of the kingdom. And as a kid, you're like, oh, this is so cool because everything else is down here. And then you have this little raised base plate and the castle sitting on it. And they take good advantage of that to make, like, jails and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And even with, like, the Imperial and Pirates, that's some of, some of those same, same ideas. You know, you yep. can always use that space in the base plate to make something. <laughs> yeah, I had that original uh, El Dorado Fortress, mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I thought that was so cool because the treasure got dropped in there, and you could pull it up out of there. It was, it was fun. I remember as a kid, I was like, oh, this is so much fun to be able to pull this little gate thing up and then pull it, put it back down. And then here's the new blacksmith shop down yep. here, of course, as well, so you uh, can kind of see them side by side. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, another fun one, and there's a little little mini one back in the uh, the Kingdom's era. Um, you know, so I've got all of them right near each other. Um, but yeah, that, that's a great build. It's a very large. It uh, doesn't scale well, you know, with the rest of the kingdom, but a great showpiece uh, for medieval love. And below that, is that the Lake Town? Lake Town for Lord okay. of the Rings, yeah. 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 I was originally going to do my port in that kind of color motif, but um, I opted not to. So those will probably be parted out here eventually. And to the left, as we keep going down, we got some, what, that's a couple a, of ships here? Yeah, that's a, I believe, Orient set. Yeah, um, like, or, Orient Expedition, I think. Orient set. Expedition, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I just, I remember at the time, it, Again, I was just looking for something other than fighting armies. 
Um, so I was looking for anything that could be like a trade ship or something. So I was going to use that uh, for something like that. And I never did part out or anything. And then there's a, the, you know, the skeleton ship behind it. Um, and then there's some more of their sets up above. Um, really cool part usage and um, that fantasy era. Skeletons were a very different approach. To oh, very castle. different. Yeah, it was so much fun though when that when the the fantasy era came out. And you had them and the trolls and you know just orcs and all kinds of different things. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, the uh, skeleton horses are very yeah. unique. You still see those used occasionally yeah. in some stuff today. Not super common. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, great variety though. It's totally different. And then here's some of the troll stuff. Yeah, down yeah. there. Just you know, just oversized over the top kind of stuff but they, mm -hmm. they made it look really good with like making it look a little run down and beat up pieces of equipment and, and you know hardware um but they all had you know moat they can all bang things and move things around <laughs> it was funny when like you know the the troll would tow it you know with a little piece of ch uh, turkey leg hanging in front yep. of them it's just it's funny <laughs> stuff it was lego really put out some good humor in those it was uh, it was fun times so and you have the little the dwarves above it mm -hmm. with the uh the mount the mine um, and that's my little army there of those guys and just trying again, create a little variety. The cool helmets, the big axes and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, really I always cool. love these big, uh, wheel pieces. You see them represented oh, yep. in different ways here. They kind of had the black chrome yep. effect. Yeah. I read that, that, that black chrome and that, that gradient look. And mm -hmm. you know, that was, that was all kinds of cool, I, you know, totally different than what Lego was doing previous to that. And then you get to the, the Black Falcons army that we were talking yeah, about. <laughs> yeah, he, he, we've been able to build that up here the last couple of years with, after Medieval Blacksmith came out. So I, you know, I took advantage of it and kind of bulked up their army a bit. Put some of them into my, um, to the mock build, but yeah, most of them sit here still and they'll find a home here eventually. And then there's some more knights up here and you can see I've pulled out. <clears throat> mm-hmm. This is an amazing display here, but you've got some other stuff in the room as mm -hmm. well. So we can move our attention to some of the stuff that's kind of sealed over here. So what does this represent? Yeah, so these are my sealed sets. Again, I bought these all originally um, when they came out. Um, these are just the, the last remaining stuff I haven't built yet. Um, when I moved into this room, I probably had twice as many sealed. Um, I've parted some out, I've built some. Um, but yeah, this is, <laughs> this is what remains of the sealed stuff. I still don't know if I'm gonna open them up and part you know, just bring them into the collection. I mean, they're mine, um, so, you know, I'm not going to get rid of them. But, um, yeah, that medieval... Um, the Market um, Village? The Market Village. Yes, yeah, the medieval, medieval Market, Market Village, Village is, is uh, just an awesome I, set. I, I, I've gotten lucky. I bought myself one, and my brother got me one for <laughs> Christmas. Um, I guess I built his, and I, you know, I kept the <laughs> other one sealed all these years, and <laughs> I don't know, it, it, it would pay me to open it up and just part it out or, or do something like that with it. So that might, that might be one of the last remaining sealed sets I, I keep up here. You can see the big Trolls Mountain Fortress from the theme we were talking about earlier. Yeah. And then there's like the, the turkey there's leg. There's a turkey leg in front of it, yeah. <laughs> the Trolls Mountain Fortress is cool. It's funny, you know, as you go through all these sets, you remember when you got them. You know, they bring back a memory. I remember that Trolls Mountain Fortress was Target Black Friday sale, um, and they was blasting it out for $50. I just remember getting that after work one morning. Um, so it's just, yeah, just uh, the different eras of sets. Mm -hmm. But that was such a cool era. They had such good uh, different things uh, that we had never seen before in Castle. And speaking of other cool eras here, we've got the uh, Kingdoms era with all of mm -hmm. these sets with kind of the, the red and white and then the green guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, these are my favorites. Um, <laughs> I want to open that chest set up, but uh, I just don't know. So many good soldiers, so many good, uh, the bardings were great on both sides. Uh, the shields, fantastic. Um, and that was, that was to me the, the peak of uh, Lego Castle. Awesome, yeah, it really is fantastic, and it's cool to see that you've got such a nice collection mm -hmm. of it here. <laughs> yeah, th thankfully for Toys R Us, uh, buy one get one. So, um, that's why you know I, I bought a lot of the same set. You, you just start <laughs> tossing them into the cart, um, but then then you moved on to that last era, which um, thank you know it was, the, it was the only era in Castle up till now um, that had the uh, the you know the posable horses. Right, it was the only one they get it right before they ended. Um, so you've got a couple there with the bardings that work with them, um, and then uh, again some good. Good, good pieces like the helmets were chrome just like the kingdoms line uh, but you know I, I think not as popular amongst the the castle community i like the small older sets you've got here as well kind of representing you don't you don't see the boxes for something no. like this very often <laughs> no you can see the the king there this gold chrome helmet mm -hmm. this scepter yeah, and those old uh, those shell sets. Yes, on, yeah, the, on, the gas station uh, the crossover. Gas, yeah, <laughs> that's so weird. I mean, I, I, they're so popular in Europe, right? But um, yeah, those little and there's such that was such an odd theme. I mean, again, from the bills to you know some thing flying around with wings and 
the the witch with the you know the, the wing, her little flying thing. Yeah, like a, a hot air balloon. <laughs> yeah, such an odd odd build, but uh, yeah, it was. Uh, but I like the, uh, the 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 torsos. Those helmets were great. Um, so yeah, let's take away from every part of the theme. More of the jelly bean knights represented. Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, some more jelly beans up there. Um, I got those later, um, but still, you know, it was 10, 12 years ago. Um, but um, I, one of these days, I'll find a use for that big lion shield sitting on the side of that thing. Um, I was going to put it up in a throne room, but just the, the colors don't match. So I just can't do a blue in a castle. That's there you go. Red and white or red and yellow. <laughs> and then, of course, some Lord of the Rings. You know, that, that counts as castle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the great parts uh, for castle. That will be the, um, I've kept that one. I sold Helm's Deep and I sold the big, uh, the pirate ship um, that they had. But uh, that I kept because I do want to build that and create that as the foundation for the, uh, the baddies uh, base, base <laughs> of operations. <laughs> and as we turn the corner, you've got more army builders and more sets here. So what's the story behind this one? So that's the, the um, Castle in the Forest uh, from the BrickLink Designer Program. Um, Great build. It kind of meshes all three uh, Forestman sets, the original Forestman sets, into one build. Um, does a great job of doing it. Cool little build. Great techniques, and uh, yeah, that was a that was a fun set to build. And then um, the gift with purchase Forestman hideout that came out um, last year, the end of last year, um, is sitting there. I've <laughs> I've got a few more in the boxes there. <laughs> there was FOMO about you know. <laughs> That thing going away and never seeing him again. Hey, so, when they tease you with something like Forest Men, you, you got to get on that. You got to jump. I mean, I think everyone knows with, with Castle, if, if it's going to be available, you got to jump on it. That that designer, BrickLink designer program set is a, I mean, that thing sold out in like 32 mm -hmm. minutes and sold double the amount that they, they were planning on selling. Um, so, yeah, got some more extra Forest Men hideouts. But Forest Men, that army is probably too large for what they are. <laughs> but um, I just had so much fun putting them together. And I had a lot of different torsos and, and you know, legs and things that worked. And God, I still have so many hats because um, I, I changed a lot of hair. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun faction. And uh, I'll just disperse them amongst the kingdom and they'll be out trotting everywhere. And then we got Wolfpack in front of that, right? Wolfpack, yeah. They're, they're, they're a cool little band. Um, I, think, I think everyone has a love for the Wolfpack. Um, you know, they had two sets and maybe a third, um, gift, uh, you know, part of a three pack, but, um, yeah, cool little faction. Um, so I built this, this little mock just as an ode to the original Wolfpack tower. Um, just my interpretation of a little larger version. Kind of mock. expanding on it. That's a yeah. really neat idea. Yeah. Especially yeah. cause it only had those two sets. So there's a lot of, there's a lot yeah. you can do and expand yeah. <laughs> on it. It's true. It's true. <laughs> on the backside there, it's open and eventually it's meant to kind of push into a mountain um so i'll have to that'll get built into the um into the kingdom here um, that one won't reside on its own so it's intended you can see the pinholes it'll it'll go in and you've got an impressive lord of the rings army down here as yeah, well yeah it's my elves um and i apologize the little elves in the back i don't know really what to do with them but um <laughs> they're they're the more serious elves up in front but um yeah we'll expand that army a little bit here too with rivendell coming out but yeah they've been a little fun and i've i had intended to build a little uh, elven uh, fortress of some kind so I guess I'll I'll use Rivendell as a basis for that and then expand out from it and what is this army here that's just a bunch of bad guys I've gotten from a whole <laughs> bunch of different factions one of those are are little knights that came with the um, the hidden side sets uh, some stuff from Ninjago um, and just kind of factions from all over the place and I just kind of mesh them into this hodgepodge of uh, baddies um, and there's more skeletons and orcs and stuff all the way on the left hand side and of course, you got to represent the creatures with Castle, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of dragons. There's the Vikings, the more technic centric Viking ones, and then the uh, the, the the molded uh, Vikings from the uh, from the kingdom uh, from the uh, the castle lines. And, and then, before we move on to these sets up here, here's the here's the army as well. You were mentioning with the skeletons, yep. yeah, more trolls, that yep. kind of thing. Yeah, a little couple elephants. I'll build some you know war elephants up there with them as well. The Ninjago skeleton. Um, um, dragon was fantastic. I, I bought that set to get that to build that dragon because I thought that would be cool to be with the skeletons and it's a it's a nice build, great looking dragon. And you even got a little Nexo Knights representation. Yeah. I know Nexo Knights very very controversial among Castle fans. Very, very yeah. I, I, I'm a, I'm a hater of uh, <laughs> of Nexo Knights. So you can put me down for that camp. Um, I don't like them. Uh, it's not Castle. Um, if Space wants to take it, they can. <laughs> But that's, uh, that doesn't belong anywhere near Castle. But it has the Black Falcons logo, and, and I wanted a clock for the room, and that was, that, that's how it's made its way into this room. I do have a couple uh, Nexo Knight sets just for the figures and using some of the parts. They're, um, uh, you know, the bad guys in it were really good. Um, and obviously, 
great parts came out of that. The Nexo Knight Shield, um, we use it all over the place still, you know. So, um, yeah, some good parts came out of it. I'm just not a fan of it. It's not Castle. And we can't go through a massive Castle set collection without the Yellow Castle. So are you able to kind of pull this down and yeah. show it to us a bit here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we can pull this down. Just it's got the uh, original box. Gift with purchases out of the way. Yeah, so we have the... Um, the original box, this just came in just like two days ago. Um, so this is really the first time I'm looking at some of this too. Um, I got an extra sticker sheet just in case. Oh, very nice. Uh, but the stickers actually, um, yeah, this is, um, yeah, this, they, they look pretty good. They're not too bad. This is a, this is an exclusive, everyone. This is a, this is the first time I'm looking <laughs> this at it This is well. an unboxing, wow. <laughs> this, is a, this is an unboxing, really. <laughs> if you'd open it up and it was like all broken, it'd be really bad. <laughs> <Yeah. right now. laughs> that would be a great video for you guys. <laughs> this is fantastic, keep recording. Um, yeah, you still got the stickers on them. Again, this is the first time I'm looking at some of this. I just kind of brought it up here. And, the, uh, the one piece that when, when I bought, got a set like this used a number of years ago, the one piece that was broken was the hinge piece, like these these type gotcha. here. Mm -hmm. So uh, that piece, I think, maybe breaks a little bit easier than the rest, but every, everything else was in good shape. Yeah, I'll just have to, these will get cleaned up a bit, and um, that looks pretty good. I, I always want the instructions. Yeah. Um, I have binders of, of instructions over there. Again, the OCD loves it. Um, but yeah, the uh, the stickers look pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not too bad at all. <laughs> just you know, the the 90th anniversary castle with those things is just, it's a nice ode to them. And I always love the graphic design of these with the flip up oh, lid. Yeah. You, you a lot of them had the the kids playing uh, with the and then just kind of different combinations of the castle. So it was almost like a creator three in one idea. Yeah, yeah. And this is the really old the old ones <laughs> with the foam in them um, for the boxes. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. A piece count on them. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Oh, that just brings back memories. Doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the colors, that's cool. Yeah, this box is in pretty decent shape. Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I mean, this set's a it's a lot of years old now. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got a really good deal with it too. Um, so that's cool. That'll be nice to add to the collection. So that's that's that'll be the final um, 78 set for me. Will you build that and display it? I will. Playing? Yeah, okay, that'll get, awesome. Yeah, that'll go up on that wall. Awesome. My, my museum side of, of the room. <laughs> that'll definitely get built. Yeah, that's uh, it deserves a spot in any castle room. So this is a absolutely fantastic collection here. So uh, is there is there anything else kind of Lego castle related that you have not had a chance to pick up? Maybe it's a set or maybe even just like some other kind of castle related item they've made over the years? Uh, the big thing for me missing in the collection is the big chess set. Okay. I, mean, I remember going to the Sugarloaf store here in, in Georgia when it came out. I saw it. I was like, I forget the price, 250 whatever it was at the time. I was like, oh, that's too much. I won't, I won't get it. But now you can't find one for six, seven, eight hundred. And, you know, they're up almost a thousand. So that's the big missing piece in my collection. Um, there's, a, there's about two or three other smaller sets, which I, you know, I can get them pretty quickly. But um, that's, that's the big missing piece for me. Once I get that, it's pretty much, it's done. Yeah, this is an immense collection. I have not seen this many castle sets <laughs> all in one place. So. I know there's some people out there that'll say that the Knight's Kingdom big figures are missing. Those aren't castle either <laughs> in my book. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm not going to get those, but those, you know, they look like Bionicle. They mm -hmm. came in a little... Right, yeah, yeah. The canisters, yeah. yes. They're yeah. not system. Um, so they're, um, yeah, I won't be getting those. But <laughs> everything else, yeah, I've got, I've got all the little carts and all the things down in, uh, in some totes, so... Now, I know you have an Instagram account that you update with some of your builds and things. Do you also update that with like new sets and cool new things that you get in as well when you have them on display? Oh yeah, yeah, if I, this Yellow Castle will go up um, when, once I get this built, uh, that'll go up there. Yeah, anything I get coming in, you know, new sets, new finds, um, I build it and I put it on there. 90th anniversary, I kind of did that build process a little bit on Instagram, um, that was so much fun. Um, so yeah, that goes on there. The CMFs, I've, I've been cu accumulating them. Like behind you, these are all falconers. <laughs> um, in addition to you know the dozen or so that are sitting out here, <laughs> I, I can't stop. Because the CMFs, again, you can't get CMF parts after they're gone. So to avoid any kind of FOMO in the future, um, those are sitting there. Then up on top to your left are the, uh, the orcs. Um, so I've probably got mm, 30, 35 of each one. <laughs> should about, should do the trick. <laughs> And I noticed some smaller things over here earlier. So is there mm -hmm. some smaller castle stuff here as well? This is a Legoland yeah, model, that, right? Yeah, that's Legoland. I actually got that in Billund. Okay. Um, so I got that there and again from the Lego house. Just little unique things, the little, the little keychain of the ghost, the skeleton, um, some exhibitor stuff, the VIP coins, uh, the 90th anniversary, the, the yellow castle that was available from Walmart. Uh, my little joke for my, our space fans, um, <laughs> that was defense for me. So in case, uh, I know space likes to mess with the castle fans sometimes. So 
if they had messed with my build at all during the Atlanta BrickCon, I was going to plop that out on their display <laughs> and have a little, you know, a little orc lighten up. You got to strategize ahead of time. That's you right. Know? You got to you come prepared to these things. So I told them their baby's going to get burnt up if uh, their their big baby love that they have. You know, the thing is everywhere right now in Spaceland on online. So that was just a little joke for them. And this was my first attempt at the. Uh, at a, building a little version of my castle, which looks awful, but uh, I'll always keep it because it was the, my first shot at like a micro That's build. That's where you start, yeah. yeah. Everybody has to start somewhere. Yeah. That's great. And uh, the one random uh, speed champion set is, uh, I used to have a blue ZL1 Camaro. So I'm a car guy and Intense is pur purposely spelled wrong. Uh, it's an SS for super sport for Chevys. Okay. Um, so that's that's where that comes from. So my little car is there. There you go. So that's that's your Instagram username. So we'll make sure to have a link to that Instagram page in the description of this video so mm -hmm. you can see awesome. uh, updates on all of the sets as well as this incredible castle layout, which we will have a whole separate video going through all the details of that as well. So thank you so much, Rich. Thanks thank for you. taking us through everything here and keep up the amazing work. Appreciate it. Thank you.